All right, I've gone through pictures of uh, old saddles and and cowboys and their horses uh, back in the 1800s, and uh, my saddle is uh, spot on as far as the uh, length. Of, it just looks large because I'm used to seeing modern day saddles, and it's uh, but uh, I'm not far off, and uh, so I'm gonna start working on the horse. I'm gonna take the, the saddle off him and uh place it back on its uh little mount and i'll just leave it there and then start working on the horse all right i'll be right back time to play with some play This little piece of wood right here that I put down here to hold the uh, armature has split. And so this has lost its uh, strength to hold itself. So I've got to figure out what I'm going to do about that. I can't put a wedge in there because that's broken. I've got it glued right now, and I guess I'm just going to have to wait for the glue to take hold before I can do anything with it. These things happen, unfortunately. Pine's good to work with, but uh, it has a tendency to split even when you pre-drill a hole. Okay, I'm going to try to put a screw in here. I guess the only way to attack this is just do it. not sure whether you can see what I'm doing it may be unvideable 
because of the angle I'm working at here. I got to work between the post, the ground. I think I'm going to take a little break here and uh, put on my promotional video, my little advertisement for my instructional videos. Be right back. One way I keep myself in the studio and I can buy clay to work with and pay for the internet to put the uh, videos that I shoot on to the web is through my sales of my uh, instructional videos. Um, if you're so inclined, uh, check the link below this video uh, where I have a review of all nine of my current instructional videos and uh, see if you possibly find anything interesting there. Um, I pretty much give you my over 50 years of experience in sculpting and uh, I'd really appreciate it if you'd uh, consider purchasing one or two or even all my videos 
Um, they're streaming online on Vimo, and uh, you need a passcode to see them. But that works forever as long as you have that passcode and the link. So please uh, consider that, and let's get busy on sculpting now. End of promotion. But what it comes right down to is I've got the uh, right rear leg sculpted. That was the uh, key to get this uh, horse where I like it. I was sweating that because I was trying to picture in my mind what it was going to look like. Because it is an odd angle for the uh, hoof and the, the rear leg. Okay. By the way, in my videos on doing horses, I show how to do the hoof. The hoof used to be the hardest thing for me to do, and I figured out a way of doing it that made it so easy. And uh, I show that in my videos. All right, this is going to have to do it for today. I'm glad I got both legs to where I like them. I'll do the tail Monday. And uh, I'm not going to be here tomorrow. I've uh, got some things I gotta have to, I'm going to have to do. And... Uh, it's going to take time out of my day that I need to be sculpting, and I won't be able to sculpt. So, everybody that's uh, watching my video and enjoying them, I would really appreciate it if you would click the like button, the thumbs up, and subscribe if you're not subscribed so you can receive updates on my videos. All right, everybody, have a great weekend, and uh, I'll see you next week. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.